what is going on guys it is Courtney and since it is cold and rainy I thought it would be the perfect day to make a video showing you all how to use one of my favorite pieces of hardware and that is the Akai MPK Mini. You can get this MIDI controller for under $100 and it will be one of the best investments that you have ever made. I got a lot of requests on my Instagram from people on how to use this piece of equipment. So I thought the best way to show everyone was just to make a video. First thing, you want to make sure that it's plugged in to your computer via the USB cable. That's a good first step. That will get you headed in the right direction. And then the second thing, you want to open up a new instrument track and make sure that it's an empty channel strip because you cannot select the drum machine designer via this option. So just create an empty channel strip and then go to instrument and then we will be able to select drum machine design. For this B, I did not use a Logic Pro kit. I used an external sound kit. So what I'm gonna do is select empty kit. As you can see, all of the sounds have disappeared. But when you hit a pad, you're gonna notice that it's not where it should be. So this first one is right here. Let's just drag it down to the bottom left. And now there's that. And the second, do the same, just drag it over. And now we have one, two, three, and four. So I usually put my kicks on the first, snares on the second, hi-hats on the third, and my open hat on the fourth. I'm just gonna drag a sound over. That one goes there. That goes there. A snare. And then a kick. Drag it over. And as you'll notice that those sounds are a little loud, so let's use this volume tool to bring down the levels. The snare is still loud. It's like thunder crashing. Do this whole video with rain metaphors. Goodness gr- Because I'm turning down the wrong one. Why didn't you guys tell me? Goodness gracious. Rookie mistake. It's all about getting those levels right. Okay, we got it. I probably won't use the open hat on this beat, I just realized that. But now you know how to do it, so got your back. Now that we have that loaded, let's just record a drum pattern. deleted it. That's nice. Now hi-hat. This is a nifty trick. I don't know if you know it already, but I will show you if you don't. So for the hi-hats, hit this little button right here, hit note repeat, Make sure that you have the modulation wheel checked because it will come in handy. And then since I'm at 78 beats per minute, I'm going to set the max to 164 notes. I think normally that it's set on 160, but for this beat, I'm going to set it at 164. You have to keep this up in order to use this effect, but it basically acts as a note repeat button. And then you can use the little joystick on the MPK. And what this will do when you have the modulation wheel checked is when you hit the hi-hat, it will make the uh, note repeat rate faster based on how you use this joystick. And if you understood none of that, let me show you what I mean. easier than drawing them in. You're welcome. And now for the next bit of fun. These eight knobs you can actually program to control panning or volume or even if you wanted to control a parameter within a synthesizer in third party plugins or even within Logic plugins. So I will show you. You go to Logic Pro right here. 
you go to control surfaces, controller assignments, and then say you wanted to mess with this flanger right here. You just hit learn mode and then move it a little bit. And then you take one of the knobs and you just move it slightly. And now look, that's great. So convenient. You could do that with the volume as well. Say you wanted to move the volume with one of these knobs. You just, and then it works. It's great. That's how easy it is to use the Akai MPK Mini within Logic. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you guys have any other questions or comments about how to use certain things within Logic Pro, Machine, Ableton, whatever, whatever doll, I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out and I'll show you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell so you get a notification every single time I post. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by March, so you know what to do. I also want to shout out these two people for commenting on my latest Instagram post. And if you want to get shouted out on the next video, be sure to follow me and comment on my Instagram. You could possibly get shouted out in the next video. But that's all I've got for you guys today, so catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.